The truth is that a lot of people are suffering today as a result of the words that they spoke out of their mouths, as a result of the prophecy they have given to themselves, as a result of the prophecy they have prophesied to their life, as a result of the things that they imagine about their life. Let me tell you the truth. Life is a spiritual. And spiritual, you see, control the physical. Most of the times, we, I've seen a lot of people, sometimes we try to say something in order to attract human sympathy, in order to make people to pity us, in order to make people to feel so bad for us. But let me tell you, any way that you are speaking in life is a word, is a thing that you speak to your garden angels to go to take it to your God to manufacture your tomorrow. It doesn't matter about the situation. It doesn't matter about the present condition. It's about your future. It's about what God has in stock for you. Yes, you heard me. Before I tell you this, first of all, let's go to the book of James. James chapter 5 verse 3. The Lord, when you read that, you will see God said, as long as I live, I will do to you whatever that I hear you say. As long as I live, I will do to you what I had you said. To show you that is what you are saying is what actually God is listening to. Not what somebody else is saying. Not what your uncle or anybody is saying. The reason why that sometimes when people say negative things to us and it works because we don't have this spiritual energy to deceive it because we don't have this faith to believe that we can as well prophesy it to our life and it manifests it manifests positively in our life also you when you go to the book of ezekiel 37 and 22 god said mortal man mortal man he said that means you as a person he did not call any particular person so it's just for you to see that you yourself are very very powerful the reason why i'm trying to sound this way is because so many persons when they come to me for a particular thing they want you to be the person that they feel like you are the one that has that anointing you are the one that has that yes but let me tell you you as a person you have a very privilege you have 100% right to prophesy to yourself, to speak to yourself and it works for you. Keep watching this video. At the end of this video, I'm going to be sharing with you what you can do. First, one, two, three minutes you wake up every morning. Do this that I tell you for close to 14 to one month. You will see that your life will change. You will see that those things that you are finding very difficult will be possible in your life. But before I continue this video, I want to officially welcome you to my channel or my page. Thank you for stopping by. In case you are seeing me for the first time, thank you for joining. Here I share things, how to use natural things for spiritual and physical use. I hope this sounds interesting to you. So kindly follow me or subscribe. Turn on the bell notification so you will always be notified whenever I upload a new video. If you're a returning subscriber, you are highly welcome. Please, before I dive into this video, I want to beg you, disregard any number you see in the comment section. There is a whole lot of scammers. So please don't fall victim of them. Yes, so many persons will be like, oh, promise, I am passing through this. I want this. I will tell you, okay, can you do this? They feel that is when you do that yourself, is when you do that for them that they will see results. This is why a lot of people are easily being scammed. That is why a lot of people are easily being deceived. Because when you believe that you as a person, number one, you have that spiritual energy to speak into your life and it works you will start getting result to whatever prayer you are praying you will start getting result to whatever spiritual assignment that you do as much as you understand that when i do this is going to work for me this situation by the grace of god i will liberate myself from it my dear that is the point you start getting answer to your prayer that is point you start making wigs for your life so it's not only when promise did it, it's not when only someone do it. Yes, when it comes, there is some situation you need an assistant, but try as a person because you have that strength, you have that human energy. Everybody that God created on this life is powerful. Like I said, in the book of Ezekiel 37, when the Lord said to say mortal man, he did not call any specific person. He said, can this bone live? And 
he said prophesy that shows you to see the power of your words that shows you to see that your words are powerful that your words can raise the dead that your words can change that situation that you are into prophesy he said i don't know it's only you that knows he said oh yeah prophesy why he ordered that is for him to understand that him as a person is very, very powerful. So have you ever prophesied to your life? Have you prophesied to that condition that you are into? Have you prophesied to that situation that you are crying for? Have you wake up one morning and say, you promise you are blessed. You promise you will make it. You promise you will be a light and not darkness. You sickness, you are a visitor. Your time is and your time is over. He said in the book of James, chapter 5, read down 3. He said, As long as I live, whatever that I hear you say is what I will do for you. What I hear you. So, what are the words are you speaking into your life? What are the utterances have you speaking to the life of your children? As a woman, have you wake up one day and place your hand on the head of your husband and speak positive in his life? Have you wake up one day and hug your children and speak positive in their life? Have you gone to that business that is dying and say, God, this business will not die? Stop complaining. Stop seeking for human attention. If God did not permit anybody to help you, if there is energies that is blocking your way, if there is any hindrances around you, no matter how much you cry to your fellow human, they cannot help you. No matter how much you cry, no matter how much you complain, they will only pity you but not help you because your help is you and your God. Now do this first one, two, three minutes every morning you wake up. Like I said, in 7 to 14 days, you will see that thing change. Let me tell you, immediately you wake up in the morning, when you have not talked to anybody, when you have not spoken anything, you are so powerful. Yes, you heard me. There is two different things, nature and God. God is powerful. God created everything for our own Jews. Now, wake up First five, first one, two, three, four minutes in the morning before talking to anybody, before you say something and distracted your guardian angel that have left, that have kept you because there is an angel, an assigned angel that has been protecting you even when you are sleeping. That is why you see yourself in Lagos, you dreamt that you saw yourself in the village and came back. There are some people that had that dream and they died at spot because their spiritual being is weak, because their spiritual being is not active. So at that particular moment that you wake up, you have not been distracted, you have not talked to anybody, you are so powerful. So begin to bless yourself. Wake up, stand well food, stand up and call your name. Seven times I say, promise I am blessed. Promise I will make it. Promise I will ride this car. Promise I will get this job. Promise I will make it in life. Promise I will be married this year. Promise I will begin to bless yourself. After blessing yourself, before you go on to your daily activities, do this that I am telling you. It's just a secret that I'm sharing with you. Do it continually. You will see your life change. When you wake up in the morning, first thing when you have not spoken to anybody, you are so powerful as a person. There is so many angels that are there waiting for you to speak so that they will manufacture it. When you wake up in the morning, have you blessed the day? Have you commanded the day how you want it to be? In the book of Job, God said, Job, as you wake up today, have you said to the day what you want the day to bring in your table? Have you spoken to the day what you want them to do for you? Always understand the benefit of the utmost faith around you. Understand that you as a person, you are powerful on your own. Understand that with the power of your words, you can change that situation that you are into. And remember, nature is a blessing to humanity. God created all these things for our own use. So use it in a positive way and you see your life change. Be a prophet of yourself. Be a deliverer of yourself and you see your life change. 
I wish you success as you start making use of these words. Make use of your words positively in your life, in the life of your family. And they will thank me later. Thank you for watching this video. Please don't quote me right, wrong. I know the reason why I made this video. Alright? Thank you. Don't forget to share this video. Follow me or subscribe. I will have to share more with you. Thank you and God bless you. See you in my next one.